And tonight we're going to cook a sesame ginger soy salad thing. It's uh, delicious, I've cooked it before. So we're gonna make a sauce and then we're gonna put the salad together. It's basically grated carrots as the big base. And then we are gonna make kale chips and we're gonna make Korean rice bowls and I'll have seaweed on the outside. So first stage is to make the dressings. We have two tablespoons of oil. Don't go with a flavored oil, go with a sort of neutral based oil. And one tablespoon of shredded ginger. We're gonna go with two tablespoons of soy sauce in there. And we're gonna put, that's one, two. We're gonna do juice of, uh, this is, you know, one big lime or two small limes. I've got two small limes here. So put that in. It's quite a lot of juice actually coming out. Maybe we'll just do one and a half. Don't wanna overpower. That's the equivalent of about one big lime right there. We're going to uh, add in one tablespoon of sugar, crushed garlic, yum, and some crushed red pepper flakes, just half a teaspoon. Okay, stage two of the salad is to mix it all together. So I have about 10 ounces of shredded carrot, about two big carrots, half a cup or so of rough cut cilantro, one small bit red bell pepper, it's going in, right there, two big or three small scallions, sliced, and then half a cup to two thirds of a cup of peanuts. So we're just gonna mix that all together. Oh yeah, we, of course we'll season with salt. That was pepper. This is salt, salt and pepper, and then we're just gonna mix it through. And it's, it's a very colorful salad. I like that. I like a bit of color in the salad with the red and the orange and the green, with the peanuts to add crunch. It's uh, a little bit of you know, crunch from the carrots. It's gonna be great. And then we'll put the dressing on just before we serve it. So that's it, Asian salad. Okay, we're gonna start making the kale chips now. So I have a bunch of kale here that I've torn off the stems. You don't want the stems, they taste better. Um, so I am going to add in some olive oil. You want some flavor in that, so you use good olive oil. I'm gonna use stuff we got in Croatia. It's just, you're gonna keep adding it. You're gonna coat the leaves and salt. So we're gonna mix that up. So we coast, so it's getting glistening. We're gonna add a little more. Stir it all around. And then we're gonna add it to the, uh, to the air fryer. I use a tray, uh, open bottom tray, a mesh, so it gets air from all around. And you, the main thing to remember is you do a single layer. So it shouldn't be crossing over too much. So they've got to have space to uh, get air on, all around them. You can do them in batches. So, yeah. And then we're going to put in for about five minutes. After about three minutes, we're going to have a look. We're going to move them around a bit. So yeah, that's the first one. It's going into the air fryer. And we should be looking back in a few minutes. Okay, so I think the kale chips are ready, the first batch anyway. We're gonna pull them out of the uh, air fryer. And yeah, you can hear them crispy and they're hot. So we're going to add them to this plate here to cool down. Yeah, they look amazing. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna add some more. The oven, the air fryer is at 375 and it's pretty hot at that temperature. You can hear the kale chips crackling away in there. So it's gonna be three batches, so we can leave some space on this one. And in it goes, another three or four minutes. Always keep a tidy surface. I use a tea towel to wipe down as opposed to a wet cloth because a wet cloth can you know, turn cilantro and things into mush, so I use a dry cloth. Keep the surface clean like that and have a uh, trash bowl always by the thing so I don't have to walk to the bin. And uh, yeah, that's how I keep a clean work area. So the rice is cooked, did it in a rice cooker, and 
looks really good. Looks cooked and nice. So we're gonna just add a dollop of butter to the top of that. We're gonna let it melt a little bit. So normally it calls for two to one. So one cup of rice, two cups of water, or you can use chicken stock if you want a richer flavor or any kind of stock. But uh, in this case, I just use the water and I actually put one and three quarter cups of water in. It keeps it a little fluffier and less gluggy. So that's gonna cool down right there. So we're gonna add the mixture for the rice balls. I have two tablespoons of mayonnaise in the bowl and we're gonna add a cup of canned tuna. You can get good canned tuna. A teaspoon of salt right there. A teaspoon of sesame oil. Every kitchen should have sesame oil. Staple of a lot of Asian dishes and two teaspoons of sesame seeds. I'm gonna add that in too. That's been cooling down over there. And then we're just gonna mix all that together as of a golf ball. So we're gonna wet the hands. And we're gonna make a ball about the size of a golf ball. There's the ball right there. I have a bunch of seaweed, came as a snack. I'm just gonna crumble it up to a small place. Okay, so that's a nice outer layer of color and flavor to these balls. Don't be afraid to squeeze these balls a lot. <laughs> yeah, I just said that. Um, Okay, we're ready to assemble. I have the plates with the rice balls on them like this. And we have the salad, we're gonna add the dressing to it. We will separate it out, so we're gonna mix it very thoroughly. And then we're gonna add it to the salad here. I'm gonna toss it, make sure everything gets in. We're just gonna add a little bit of carrot, sesame, ginger, salad to each plate. Very good, great color. And there's more if anyone wants it. And then we're just gonna add some kale chips to present. And then there'll be a ton more kale chips to be had afterwards. Okay. And there we have it. Rice balls with Asian salad and cow chips. Delicious. I'm gonna go and enjoy it. Cheers.